What is going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Today's video, we're actually going to be talking about the brand new gem packs that have actually been revealed for the 55 million download celebration, obviously for Luffy and Law and V2 Big Mom. So this particular video probably isn't tailored towards the free-to-play players, because free-to-play players are not going to be purchasing gem packs. But, the gem packs this time around are pretty interesting, honestly. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get a gem pack where we get a free, you know, Sugo Fest exclusive character from a select pool. We actually had that during a recent event, didn't we? I can't remember which event that was from, but it was a relatively recent event, and uh, unfortunately, they didn't do it this time around either. It would have been awesome if they did, um, but either way, let's go through the gem packs that are currently available. So, this first one is the most exciting one. It says, from October 24th till November 6th, make your purchases within the sale period to get bonus rainbow gems and other great items so these are the limited sets you can only purchase these for a, uh, a certain amount of time or for a certain amount of purchases so only purchasable once is 12 gems plus 18 rainbow gems for a total of 30 gems and you also get a three star lobster um that's actually going to be a pretty cheap set i believe that you know the first amount of gems so you can see that it's first it says 12 rainbow gems so i believe that this particular pack will be the cost of the regular 12 gem pack but you get 18 for free on top of it which is pretty awesome honestly uh then this one's really cool 30 gems but you only get two extra so 32 gems but you get a kizuna potion now for those who don't know what a kizuna potion is you use these items to refill your stamina during the kizuna mode everyone will be distributed uh, kizuna potions every single day but you can actually purchase more from these gem packs which is quite humongous honestly um you don't need to get these kizuna potions in order to you know get the most out of kizuna but it's more like if if you want more rewards like more tablets more cotton candy and stuff these kazuna potions are definitely going to help out so that's really cool myself personally i'm not really too sure if i'm going to purchase all of the gem packs um but these kazuna potions are definitely enticing now the 30 gem pack you can buy it twice the next one, 60 rainbow gems plus 4 extra. Unfortunately, it's not really that much extra. It would have been nice if it was, but 64 gems. You get 30 forbidden tomes on top of that, and you also get a Kizuna potion, and you can purchase that one three times as well. But then the big one, 85 rainbow gems and 13 extra, totaling to 98 rainbow gems. You get three silver almighty manuals so they're not guaranteed skill ups they're just a skill book you can use on any character and you get two kizuna potions and you can purchase that five times so that's a that's a total of 10 extra kizuna potions which is actually kind of crazy that is a lot of extra kizuna potions uh and the 98 gems is always going to be nice i think i'll probably purchase um i think i'll be purchasing a couple of those ones for sure the the 98 rainbow gems looking kind of juicy so really looking forward to that one but this is the main one where if you want those extra gems this is the one to be uh to be purchasing for sure uh i like the fact that they added that one time purchase for 12 plus 18 would have been nice if it was a bit more because i know that the gem sales on jp far exceed the stuff that we get on global but you know obviously jp is managed by different people so it is what it is uh and then obviously you have the gem packs that you can purchase an unlimited amount of times that will be available throughout this period until november 6th so you've got the 12 plus one you have the 30 plus one 60 plus two and 85 plus 5. Um, uh, it's fine. Uh, I think that it was weird because the gem packs during Bartu and Cavendish release, in my opinion, were actually kind of better because you got extra gems from those ones and those ones are way better in my personal opinion, but it is what it is. But 85 plus 5, you can purchase that uh, as many times as you want during the event period and obviously you get some boiled lobsters and some extra stuff along the way with those gem packs. So the bonus items will be distributed to your mail because I know some people when they purchase these uh, gem packs and they realize, oh, where's my extra items? You got to check your mailbox. So it will be there for sure. But really excited about this one to get more Kizuna potions to play more of the Kizuna Kizuna mode for sure. Now just below that there is a new banner which has V2 Big Mom and Luffy and Lore on it. Now for those of you who were playing during the period when V2 Mihawk and V2 Zora got released, this banner would look very very familiar and that is because it's essentially the same thing. So the new set to power up Sugo Fest exclusive Luffy and Lore and Zeus and Prometheus and Big Mom have arrived for a limited time obviously until November 
26th. And you can purchase 12 rainbow gems and get a set of bonus items. So this is going to cost the same amount as the 12 rainbow gem pack. But there are two different sets. There is a set for Big Mom and there is a set for Luffy and Law. So what happens is, is when you purchase the Luffy and Law set, you get five three-star homies. You get one four-star homie, one million berries, one sea stallion. Uh, well, you get two sea stallions. So I assume you need probably two of them to evolve him. But it's basically you get an evolver set for Luffy and Law. You get 100 forbidden tomes and you get 30 manuals that are used to skill up Luffy and Law. And that's all for the cost of the 12 Rainbow Gem Pack. And you do get the 12 gems on top of that as well. So that's, on, that's honestly not too bad. If you are just going to purchase the 12 Rainbow Gems, you might as well pick this one up because the extra rewards are always good. But you got to think, right... I would probably suggest purchasing this pack if you actually end up pulling Luffy and Law because you'll be able to evolve them straight away. You'll be able because with the homies, you'll be able to get them pretty much close to max level. If not, you'll get them to max level. And then you can evolve them. And then you can use forbidden tomes on them. You can skill them up. You're basically maxing out the character straight away. This is actually a really good set for beginner players um, who you know want to get into the game. If you end up pulling, like if you re-roll Luffy and Law, purchase this gem pack, you'll be able to evolve them straight away and you know go on your merry way, basically. The same thing goes for Big Mom. Essentially the same sort of thing. You get homies, berries, evolver set, 100 tomes, and 30 of Big Mom's skill books. So honestly, this is a really, really good gem pack to purchase if you do pull the character. Outside of pulling the character, I don't really know if it's worth purchasing unless if you really just want to get their skill books for whenever you eventually pull the character. But at that point, it's like, you know, you might as well just use Almighty Manuals. But, you know, it's up to you at the end of the day. But you can purchase these packs, which is honestly pretty good. Now, just below that one, there is another gem pack here as well. Uh, one per person, you get a Kizuna Clash recommended character set. This one was very weird, and when I first saw it, I was a little confused as to why they decided these characters particularly, but a new one per person set has arrived. The new Kizuna Clash recommended character set can be purchased one time by anyone who, who will come with 12 rainbow gems and three characters that are recommended for the Kizuna Clash, and they come with max level and max special level not too bad and you'll get 20 forbidden tomes despair resistance okay so it's it's very interesting because you get the quick rare recruit Rayleigh his special ability will make your full board of orbs quick and he actually gets rid of block orbs as well so just a full board of quick orbs the really cool thing about that is is um that's actually really good for Luffy and Law because Luffy and Law's special ability will make quick and dex beneficial to your team so by having Rayleigh on the team you can get a full board of matching orbs pretty good right uh and then you've got the psy carrot so psy carrot's an interesting one i think she removes despair by a certain amount of turns she does all manipulation um and she also is a delay conditional boost yeah i think she's a delay conditional boost or maybe it's a defense down conditional boost i don't remember but i know that that psy carrot is a conditional booster she doesn't proc her own condition though so you have to use another character in tandem with that psy carrot and then the final character is the you're my valentine int rare recruit koala she's pretty good as well she uh she manipulates her own orb i think and also is a chain booster if your captain is cerebral so it works really really well with luffy and lore as well so there you go so you've got this cat this character pack which comes with these characters with max level and max special you get 12 gems on top of it and you get 20 despair resistance tomes uh i don't know i don't know about this one but i, I suppose it's the same sort of thing if you're a beginner player and you just want to get into the game like let's say you re-roll luffy and lore you purchase that gem pack this one's not a bad purchase either to just get these characters with max level max special they'll help out your account a lot especially working in tandem with luffy and lore so honestly that might not be a terrible option for newer ish players and the final gem pack as well is the rainbow gem with amazing bonuses the limit break set so they are retrying or refreshing the limit break set of course so again this is another really good set for newer players that haven't had much time to play treasure map because you get rainbow gems on top of potions and limit break uh, fragments crystals and stones uh for all colors which is quite which is quite good honestly so you'll be able to use these to max limit break some of your newer characters that you pull in the new sugo fest coming up so as i said uh, this is kind of really good for players that are newer to the game if you've been playing treasure map as hardcore as some of the other players in the game like myself you don't really need to purchase this because your your limit break stuff is essentially all maxed out i mean i can just go quickly here and just show you guys like if you've been playing treasure map a lot you'll have a pretty good amount of potions and for limit break stuff you'll be sitting quite good and you won't honestly need any more than what you currently have so it really is dependent on how often you play, play treasure map but honestly if you are playing treasure map a lot you don't need to purchase that gem pack 
uh, you should probably just purchase the Kizuna Potion one if you are opting to choose between, you know, the Limit Break stuff or the Kizuna stuff. The Kizuna stuff is just way better because you get extra gems. You don't actually get any extra gems from this Limit Break set, only just the potions and the Limit Break materials. So honestly, this is the best gem pack in my personal opinion, getting your hands on this Kizuna potions as well as the Almighty Manuals and the extra Rainbow Gems is always gonna be greatly appreciated. So other than that, there's not really much else in terms of the gem packs, but I'm just really looking forward to Luffy and Law's debut Sugo Fest. It's gonna be a really, really interesting one. Uh, remember, I will be streaming when this Sugo Fest goes live over on twitch.tv forward slash Toadski. So make sure to follow me on Twitch if you guys want to come through to the stream whenever that goes live. It's going to be big. It's going to be a big Sugo Fest. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.